A weekend of two different halves. That's going to be the story for the for the next two days. A soggy Saturday and then a sunny Sunday. Good morning to a meteorologist Dave Down. I want to get right over to the live tower cam out there right now. Some low cloud decks out there. We're currently sitting at that 72 degree mark. Again, temperatures in low 70s. Dew points also in the low 70s giving rise to humidities right around that, to that triple digit mark. 97% is where the humidity checks in right about now. So again, a soggy Saturday is going to be in store for the first half of our weekend. That disturbance will clear, though, by Sunday morning, leading to a nice second half of the weekend. However, we're going to pay a price for all this uh, rain that we do sorely need across the coastal bend. Muggy conditions are going to return for both Sunday and Monday and also Tuesday as well. Again, this, is, this, this system is not part of the cold front. We're not going to get any sort of relief from the heat and humidity once this pulls out on Sunday. So here's the three-hour loop of the radar here. You can see a lot of the activity is actually moving off to the north and to the east out of the coastal bend, especially a lot of that heavy rain. You can see all these oranges and reds. Those are moving well off the coast. Live check at the radar. A little bit of a closer look here across Clayburg and Nueces counties. You can see these green boxes. These are all aerial flood advisories. The flash flood warnings have been allowed to expire. However, the National Weather Service in Corpus Christi has issued aerial flood advisories that go until about 8.30 this morning. Again, a quick shower as it move, through, move its way through downtown Corpus Christi as well as Aransas County in the next hour or so. Wind it back out here. Six hour loop, a lot of lightning with a lot of this activity earlier on this morning. Look at this between about 1 and 3 a.m. is when a lot of places were seeing a light show, really. But again, we're seeing showers just gradually move their way across the coastal bend this morning. We're going to get a bit of a break in the activity probably between about the 9 and 11 o'clock hours this morning before activity ramps up again later on today. So here's this flash flood watch that goes in effect until 7 o'clock this evening. Again, this is all areas in this dark green area, basically outlining the entire part of the coastal bend minus a Duval. Brooks and Kennedy counties and then this lighter shade of green those are aerial flood advisories again not flash flood warnings those have been allowed to expire aerial flood advisories that go until later on this morning so here's the culprit behind all these showers and storms is an upper level low right across the big bend area of Texas that's going to just gradually push its way towards the east spawning more showers and storms throughout the day today well, I, I, want to time, I want to time out your day today. Here's the day planner. Again, periodic showers. We're not going to work our way more than the mid to upper 70s. A strong storm is possible. And again, a couple of these. We did see a tornado warning last night around the 1230 uh, a.m. time frame. But again, the severe risk for today, looking at that right now, is only a one out of five. That's a marginal risk for severe weather, a one out of five designation by the Storm Prediction Center. Limited coverage and duration is expected with these. Just some isolated severe storms are possible. Very low tornado risk and very low hail risk with all these as well. Future cast, again, maybe a quick break this morning. We'll stop it here. Here's this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Showers and storms could ramp their way back up by the afternoon hours, but then watch this by sunset tonight. A lot of the activity is going to be waning and out of the forecast area by tonight, leading to a nice second half of the weekend with mostly sunny skies. How much more rain are we going to get? Well, let's find out according to the RPM model. About an inch more rain is expected through Saturday night through tonight about 11 o'clock. Again, I think a lot of this is going to be concentrated between downtown and uh, Jim Wells counties as well as Sam Pat County. You guys are probably also going to see about an inch of rain out of this as well. 7-day forecast now. I mean, look at this. This is the rain we sorely need with the drought that we're seeing across the last several weeks. Only 78 degrees for the high today. The next rain chance after today comes Tuesday with the arrival of the next cold front. Though, sick, though definitely not as significant of a rain chance that we're going to see today. And then after that passes, very seasonable temperatures for the latter half of the upcoming work week. Brian?